like the most about your career? My my my, oh, my career? Yes. <laughs> um, you know, I just, um, like I said, I, I've done some AI uh, in college uh, a while ago. I found it, the idea fascinating. Uh, a machine that can think on its own, uh, you don't have to specifically program it, right? It just uses its algorithms to find patterns and make decisions. Uh, it's just, to me, it was the whole idea was amazing. Um, so when I've tried to find jobs at the time in AI, there weren't any. <laughs> so, you know, many years later, I see it coming back and I was just so happy. I immediately went and took all the certifications that I could have learned everything that I could uh, and tried to join a team uh, of data scientists and machine learning engineers to get in. So it's just, I've always been fascinated by this. I think it's amazing. I think it's a second industrial revolution we're witnessing. I don't think we're ever going to go back to not use the machines, right? To, the software to, to help us out. And again, I, I just love that I'm part of this in, in some small way. Great. Uh, thank you, uh, uh, Zorina. Um, let's see. Um, so far, audience keep uh, uh, asking uh, some great uh, questions here. So another question that actually I have uh, myself for um, some of our, um, I guess, uh, students or even professionals that are actually looking uh, to get into uh, into your field, uh, Zorina. So in terms of preparation, what can they do? Uh, to prepare, what is that? What What are your recommendations to prepare for, uh, for for the application and even and for an interview? Right. So I'm not, you know, I, I I'm not going to talk about it as technical because I'm not a, a data scientist or, or a machine learning engineer. But in general, to get into domain, what I did was I just went and took all the courses that I could find at the time. Uh, there are several classes on Coursera and Udemy and and all of those other uh, sites like that, where you can actually, most courses are free, uh, even if they're not free, they're quite affordable. Um, and they even have now like mini masters and all kinds of certificate programs available that you can take and will, you know, uh, that you have some, will have some weight on your resume. Um, but, um, you know, just remember that, again, these are advanced disciplines. This is not going to be an easy, I just took a course, I got a certification, now I'm just going to be a data scientist. Again, they're looking for that experience. So uh, my, my first advice outside of all the classes that I mentioned and taking all of those things is please have some work, some actual project that you've done. And you can do this. You can do this on your own. Um, but if you bring it on the table and you can discuss it in a good way and you can you know, show your way of thinking, that will make a huge difference in you getting the job. Thank you, Zorina. Um, another question, I guess somewhat uh, similar. So how can one transition to AI and machine learning role? Are there any like uh, courses or certification, uh, especially, especially for um, experienced candidates? Yeah, so I think I, I answered a similar one earlier. Um, so, you know, I'm not going to repeat all of that, more than to say, I don't think there are certain certifications that are better than others. Uh, they are all good. We're just in the beginning uh, of this. This, this discipline didn't exist uh, 10 years ago in the form that they exist today. So a lot, if you can get any certification and Google, Google away, a lot of the websites out there now, any of those are good. I have not heard of any that are not good. <laughs> um, any certification will give you that advantage. You'll understand something more. Uh, and a lot of these courses, like I said, are very affordable um, or some are free. Um, and again, anything that you can do with data, anything that you can do with the skill set that you already have, try and move that into what do you need for machine learning? You need to know Python, you know, you need to know data. If you know the cloud, it's, it's going to help you, right? So all of those things that you already do see how it can transfer um, into uh, MLAI. Okay, thank you, uh, thank you, Zorina. And uh, so, um, is there anything in particular uh, 
that you're doing to keep uh, yourself updated with uh, the new um, things that are happening in the industry? Because I'm pretty sure that it's, uh, I mean, it's, in, it's technology, so it probably evolves every day. Uh, mm -hmm. What are your recommendations for someone who's already in the field to, uh, to keep uh, himself or herself um, up to speed? Uh, yeah, so I, I take courses constantly. I'm, I'm a, a lifelong learner. Uh, when I first started to study machine learning, uh, they were using R, a language called R, uh, to program. And so I remember I took this class. It was December and in, running between uh, holidays of, uh, and parties. I was trying to learn how to program in R, and it was really tough. Um, and after I did all that, by the time I finished the certification, when I actually joined the data science team, nobody was using R anymore. Now they're all using Python. So I had to go and learn Python as well. Uh, so my point is, it, like you said, it changes not weekly, but daily, right? Everything changes. So you got to just keep an eye on things. I'm part of meetups. Um, I'm very active on LinkedIn. Uh, happy to answer connect on LinkedIn. Um, I'm, I'm always there. Uh, just keep an eye on what's going on. And then I have a bunch of certifications myself, like in project management and, you know, um, some data science and uh, things like that. So I just keep those up, uh, keep them updated, don't let them expire. Uh, cloud, you know, things like that. Um, so I try to go to uh, a couple of conferences, small conferences a year, mostly local around here. Uh, but I try to go to one big one at least once a year. And if you can afford one, if you're in an area where they have these big events, uh, it is really helpful to just get that perspective and see what's going on in the world. Uh, for example, uh, Grace Hopper Conference, which is a women in tech conference, it's just extraordinary. And to go there and see you know, 20,000 uh, women, young women, <laughs> many of them in data science and machine learning, and they were all sharing their experience and connecting and talking about it. And it was just uh, amazing. So um, if you can, if it's possible, I recommend going to at least one of these really big events because you will really get that perspective. Uh, you will figure out where the jobs are, what are people looking for, what's going on. Okay.